Hey guys, today I'm going to cook a chicken half. So let's get toasting. I've got a whole organic chicken here. This is about four and three quarter pounds. It was $3.19 per pound. So it's $15.07 for this chicken. So I'm going to cut it in half myself. I've been eating organic chicken quite a bit lately just because I like the taste of it. But it's pretty expensive and if you buy cut up pieces a lot of times the cut up pieces are like you know seven eight nine dollars a pound it's pretty crazy so what I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna cut it exactly down the middle but kinda off to the side a little bit of the of the breast there because it's easier to cut if you try to cut these chickens exactly down the middle it's pretty hard so it's not gonna be exactly a half one side will be a little bit bigger but it's just much easier to cut this way and then here I'll be cutting like along the side of the spine of the backbone so I'll just be cutting through those little rib bones like that and it makes everything a lot easier so just kind of keep moving it here almost there and uh, and we'll just cut through the skin like that. So I have, there you see, I have, it's in half, but this side is a little bit bigger. But like I said, it's much easier to cut that way. So anyway, let me rinse this off, and then I'll just uh, cook one of the halves. This is the smaller of the halves. I'm going to season it with the rub by the J. Christopher Company. This has sumac in it. It's that, that's what gives it that purple color. It's kind of a it's a berry, I believe. And this one's pretty light on the salt, so a little bit of kosher salt as well. And uh, we'll get it into my 10 inch Walmart cast iron skillet. People ask about this skillet a lot. It's from Walmart, it's Mainstays brand, I believe. It was by $8. Fits perfectly in my toaster oven, so I use it in there all the time. So, okay, that looks good. A little bit of kosher salt on top, and we'll get this into the toaster oven. I'm setting my oven to bake at 450 degrees Fahrenheit, and I'll let you guys know how long that takes. It's been 50 minutes, so I'm going to pull this out and check the internal temperature real quick. The internal temperature of chicken should be at least 165 degrees Fahrenheit, so let's see where we're at. Like 194 right there near the thigh. Let's check the breast. Oh yeah, that's 180 right there. So that's good. Now I think I'll just brush some barbecue sauce on there and put it back in for well, a couple of minutes till the sauce caramelizes. Let that sauce warm up for a couple minutes and then we'll try it out. I see that sauce bubbling. Don't want to burn it. Oh yeah, that looks good. That looks like barbecued chicken right there. By the way, that sauce I used was Kinder's Mild. Let's uh, see how this looks. Wing pulls off. There we go. See how this leg looks. Hopefully it's done around the joint there. Oh yeah, looks good, looks good. If I can get the leg off. Hack, hack, hack. Come on. <laughs> there we go. And let's cut into the breast just to see how that looks. Oh yeah, looks pretty decent. I would say that that looks pretty good. Let's try a bite. Came out good. Just need a couple of side dishes. Annie's all wound up over here. You wanna try it, Annie? Do a little dance there. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Here, I got some more up here. <laughs> Inhaled, she's licking the floor clean. <laughs> so that took 50 minutes at 450 degrees Fahrenheit and I didn't preheat my oven. And then I just put it back for a minute or two once I put the sauce on there. But the cooking time will vary depending on your oven and how big your chicken is. Anyway, I'll write everything in the description like usual. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.